everyone, this is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. And today, as promised, we are gonna use our tomatoes that we picked from the garden. I grow cherry tomatoes, and this is what I would normally buy from the supermarket, so that's why I grow it. Because I wanna spend for, you know, I wanna spend a fortune to go get some tomatoes. So, I grow them. So, I told you guys that we were going to make a quick dish from this. So you're gonna need three things, but before I do that, Please like and subscribe. Let's get to it, all right? <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. I got my, my feta cheese. You don't notice this thing on? That's smaller. You thought it was bigger, but it says it's eight ounces. Okay, so we have, we have this, right? You know what this is for? Remember them tomatoes we were picking? Well, they, there's just, this is just half of them. Let me go to the refrigerator and get the rest. So we're gonna need three things. We're gonna make some feta pasta. And the kicker for this pasta is tomatoes. I think the more tomatoes you put in this pasta, the better. Eight ounces of cheese, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna do enough for about four people, but get your tomatoes ready. Go ahead and pick your tomatoes, or if you don't have them, go to the supermarket and get some cherry tomatoes, just one bunch and a block of cheese. A feta cheese it doesn't have to be this brand. You know, I shop at HEB. I'm in Texas, right? So get about eight ounces of feta cheese, and we're gonna get some macaroni. And oh my God, I like this better than traditional American macaroni and cheese. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and make some feta pasta. Woo! Ooh, I'm drooling. <laughs> so I thank you guys. Let me turn another light on because I got a shadow. A move, you guys. Man, I got a. Five o'clock shadow. Here we go. That's better, right? Let me move this stuff out the way. So I told you guys that, you know, I harvest my tomatoes and I save them. I put them in baggies and I put them in the refrigerator. That's how I maintain them. Because if you leave them on the counter, they're going to get soft on you. They're going to go bad. I picked these yesterday, right? And these I picked about three to five days ago, but they're still good. Keep them in the refrigerator. Don't leave your stuff out unless you want it to ripen quick. Here we are. See that? It slows down the decomposure of the tomato. Because once you pick it off the vine, it's not getting fed anymore and it'll start, you know, degrading or ripening or whatever you want to call it. Okay? So I have two sets of tomatoes here. This is way more than I need, right? I have my feta cheese and I'm not a pasta snob. I, the only one I don't use for this ready recipe is spaghetti. But if you had, that's all you have, you go ahead and use it. Spaghetti is 99 cents a pack here, well, maybe a dollar seven now. So, I mean, if you have these, I like these better because I think it holds on to the cheese better. But if you just have spaghetti, go ahead and use it. You use what you got. That's what my, my channel is all about. My channel is all about using what you have. You don't have to use no special stuff. The only thing that I recommend you get is a feta cheese, even though it's a little expensive. Um, get the try to get some feta cheese because that's that's what makes the dish now you could use any cheese you want for this kind of dish but this dish is feta pasta so that's what we have is feta cheese tomatoes and i think i'm gonna use hmm, i think i'm gonna use this one so get a pot and let's go ahead and bring this, some hot some water to a right. boil and so i got my water here right i'm gonna put that on the eye turn the eye on high and we need to add a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna take about, you pick your, you pick your poison, all right? I hate to say it like that. Some people put a teaspoon. I just, I do it the West Indian way, which is sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle until I think it's enough. This is gonna help your water boil faster and it helps with the flavoring of the pasta. There's already salt in this cheese, so I'm not gonna leave this cheese out, by the way. I'm not gonna use the, lose, leave those tomatoes that were in the refrigerator. Everything that was refrigerated is gonna go back into the refrigerator until our pasta is cooked al dente. We do not want the pasta full cooked, fully cooked. We just want it to be halfway done because we have to put it in the oven. Do not cook it all the way or your stuff is gonna get a little, a little soggy. So usually pasta cook in about seven minutes. So we're gonna cook it about maybe five minutes and then we need to get a roasting pan out a little cute roasting pan or whatever you have, um, any kind of pan that you have, even even one of the, use what you have. Actually, you could use this if you could fit it in your oven to save, you know, save time on washing dishes. I hate washing dishes, 
Katie, we got our water going. I'll bring you back when it comes to a rolling boil, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put our pasta, whichever one I decide to use, um, the one that's close to expiration, that's the one I'll use. That's how I'll decide. And we'll put our pasta in it, we'll, we'll cook it to just oh, underdone al dente or less than al dente because we're going to put it in the oven it's going to cook some more with the tomatoes and the feta cheese and this dish is delicious all right i've talked enough i'll see you when the water starts boiling okay, okay. our water is boiling let's go ahead and add our noodles yay make sure you're careful when you put your noodles in they will just pop up on you and scald you now i'm not going to use the whole bag but i'm going to use a lot maybe about half all right because i only have eight ounces of cheese i don't want a lot of noodles if i have too many in there i'll know in a minute and i'm gonna give some to the chickens because that's just the way i am i don't waste food <laughs> i'm gonna boil this we're gonna boil this for about sorry we're gonna boil this for about five minutes i'll bring you back when i think it's al dente and how do you know it's al dente you take it out the pot and you taste it bite it and it should taste just undercooked so i'll show you what i'm gonna do okay once it gets there while we're waiting, go ahead and turn your oven to 350, preheat, get that thing started. While we're waiting, go ahead and wash your tomatoes off and we're gonna cut them in half, okay? Time to test it. Once, it cook, once it's cooked, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna strain it, and I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on it so it doesn't get all stuck together. That's how you stop your pasta from being stuck together. Yep, this is done. I can tell by the way it feels, okay? I don't need to taste it. I don't want it fully cooked. We're gonna get a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna put it on the pasta, just a little bit. So I got my tomatoes here and I'm cutting them in half. They break down easier that way. And I'm gonna cut about a pint. If there's a tomato there that seems a little mushy, I ain't gonna use it. I'll give it to the chickens. But I'm gonna cut the most juiciest, reddest ones I could find. Approximately a pint, eight ounces of um, pasta, excuse me, eight ounces of feta cheese and approximately a pint of tomatoes, eight ounces of feta cheese and about a half a pack of pasta, the standard pack. If you get the smaller one, just use the whole thing. Make sure you take your stems off your tomatoes. And in my case, I believe the more tomatoes you have in it, the better. If you don't like a lot of saucy tomatoes or you don't want it to, you know, have a lot of sauce or goodness, go ahead and put less tomatoes in there. But use what you have. And it doesn't necessarily have to be these cherry tomatoes. You can use regular tomatoes. You just have to cut them up. I've used regular tomatoes because that's what I had. That's what this, that's the name of the game right here. Now, you know, I grow these things, right? Because these are imperfect. All tomatoes ain't going to be beautiful. But you know what? I'm still going to eat and I'm going to eat well. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I know these look better than the store-bought stuff. I know they do. And I and it came from the yard. It came from, these are cherry tomatoes. This came from a 25 cent pack of seeds. Some water and time. Speaking of watering, I got to go turn the water off. Look at those beautiful, beautiful cherry tomatoes. Don't tell me you don't like that. And it don't take much to grow tomatoes. So everybody add, always ask, when we gonna get to the good part? Get down to the good part. When we gonna get to the good part? When we gonna get to it? Well, we here. So I have my cast iron. I got a bigger one because I figured, you know, I had more than I expected. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna line the pot. I don't like, I don't want my pasta to burn. So I'm gonna put a little bit of these down here. Okay, go ahead and put the pasta in here. Put your tomatoes in. I'm going to take a look-see poo to see how it looks. And then I'm going to stick the feta in the middle. Mix this stuff up a little bit more to get it, you know, well distributed. We're going to mix it again. But I like to get my tomato because I want that tomato -y taste in there. I got my block of feta cheese. We're going to use the entire block of feta cheese. Let me go ahead and get we don't want none of that goodness, none of that water, nothing to escape, right? Take your cheese, stick it in there, right in the center. I'm 
right here is the handles. And I need to, I need to um, check this pasta. Get out of the way. Make sure you get a good grip. Pull it out. Let's go ahead and do our check. Ooh, don't let your face get all steamed up. Stand to the side, all right? Because there's steam in here for sure. Just gonna mix this thing up. It's not done though. I want my tomatoes to start melting also, not just the cheese, all right? Cover it up. And I'm gonna stick it in there for about five more minutes. So here we go. Let me get this out. Make sure I don't drop it. Put it on the eye. All right, let's take a look at it. Here it is, right? The tomatoes have started to burst. That's what exactly what I wanted. Let's go ahead and plate this up. Good side dish. Let's take it. Okay, y'all. Time for me to taste test. Now I might need some salt. I have not put any salt in there with the exception of the pasta water. When I made the water, you know, boiling the water. I didn't put any salt in here. Because, because. The cheese has salt in it. So don't put any salt unless you absolutely need it. Here we go with our taste test. Let's get a tomato, a piece of pasta. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Man, that this is this is some good pasta. Now I could have sprayed it with some oil to make it shiny, but this is what it looked like. Mmm, that did it. This is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. And this, let me bring it closer. This is better pasta with homegrown tomatoes. I thank you guys for being with me and I will see you on the next one.